Hi, my name is Abigail McCarthy and I'm a face and body painter from Los Angeles. Today we're going to do a really fun werewolf for boys. You can also use it for girls or adults. I'm going to start first off with a sort of lighter brown and I'm going to sort of go all over the face or just around, you know, the, the middle part of the face. So could you look at me, darling? Thank you. And I'm going to dip my sponge. Um, it's a face paint sponge. It's different than a makeup sponge. Make makeup sponges are a little too dense. This is really good for a nice even application of this face paint. And you're just going to go lightly over the skin and apply it liberally to the whole face. We're going to change sponges. Now I'm going to just use a white sponge, face paint sponge. And we're going to go with our white. Take it and dip it in your white face paint. I just use the regular white. You can find it with any kit. And I'm going to go in the highlight areas. So on his cheeks and down the middle of the nose and where his whiskers are going to be. And just a little bit. And so it gives it a little highlight. down the middle and maybe a little bit on the forehead and the chin okay and then we're going to take our paintbrush and just using a Cornell number four it's sort of flat sort of sort of pointed um, medium size brush and I'm gonna dip it in my water and I'm gonna get my dark brown paint now and then we're going to go over his eyebrows and make really crazy fun eyebrows so first we're gonna take the brush and just flick it up 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 because werewolves have really crazy eyebrows and we're gonna take it from the corner of the eye and sort of make a C shape like that so it makes the nose appear wider and then we're going to go over the nostrils like that to just darken it and make the shadow a little bit a little bit nicer there and then you can always take your finger and and uh, smudge it and smudge the paint to to um, to blend so there we have it now we're going to take our black paint. We're going to just apply it liberally, just like before. Move the hair out of the way if you have to. And just go over the eyebrows a little bit. Now you're going to apply the black. to. You're just going to make a line from the nose down to the lips, the top of the lips. Just a nice little line. And then we're going to make our dots. If you like to make them now, if you like to make them later, that's fine. But you're just going to make three little dots. And then we're going to make little half moons again, coming from the nose here, up here, down, like where the, can you give me a nice smile? Where this, can you smile? Good. Where this, where these like lines will come in when he's smiling. So it's like the natural lines there, his kitty cat lines. Okay, that looks great. And then, lips with the brown. I'm going to go in under here just to outline it a little bit in the brown. That looks great. Take a little bit of black if you need to and outline the lips. Very good. And now, just continue to shade in this part. And then we're going to just bring it over the top of the lid. Bring the black paint over the top of the lid. And that looks great. And now you're going to do the same with the other side. Now for the fangs. Let's take our white paint. Apply it liberally with your brush. 
And then you're going to go from the corner of the mouth and draw down a tooth. And there we go, pointing inward towards his chin. Now the other one's going to go inward towards the, the other one. And that looks wonderful. And now, just to finish it, we're going to outline it in black. Make sure you don't put too much water on your brush or else it will, it will bleed. But that's so you can always start over, it's no problem. You can just touch it up anyway. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of scraggly hairs here. And you get the idea, you can, you can also do some more scraggly lines for the hairs with your brown. I'm just going to do a little bit of black. <gasps> you look so scary. Okay, can you give us a big roar? And that's how you do makeup like a werewolf.